Shaping forms. Okay, so things are symmetrical and they're looking good. But how do you shape some forms out in different ways? Well, again, it, there's not much of a difference here. Uh, let's say if I teach you how to do a couple forms, I think you should get the idea on how to do all forms. So in here, let's go into the scope, for instance. Again, make sure activate symmetry is on. And I'm just going to haphazardly put a circle here. And it's going to know that that's symmetrical. I think that's a little off, so let me try that again. There we go. That looks better. Well, that's pretty straightforward. What about um, something a little bit different, though? How about like this piece right here? I'm going to clean it up some. And I do that by finding it first. There we go. And I just want to go into solo mode for a minute. And clean this up. Okay, so first off, I'm going to clean it up using this and just start hashing away at it. And it's all the angle of that shadow. So There we go. Then I'm just going to clip away some stuff, but think about masking for a second. Think about masking. What do I have as far as masking goes? Well, let's give this a try. Okay, remember, now I have like four brushes at my disposal. I have Control, which masks stuff. I have Control Shift, which clips stuff. And then I have Move Stuff. And I also have the ability to smooth stuff by holding Shift. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, not for the person that's trying to train you in how to use ZBrush. For you, it's amazing. For me, it's like, wow. Uh, pretty soon I can learn how to play the piano or play a very complex video game. So check this out. Uh, control Command will allow me to mask some of this off. Okay. Then control shift with this one allows me to do this okay go back to this tool then Control and Shift allows me to shave these at an angle. And I can even shave these at an angle separately. So I'll do that. So. And it allows me to shave this at an angle separately. like that. And the more resolution, of course, I have, the tighter those will become. So, if I divide that up some, which is, it'll smooth out quite nicely, corresponding to what I clipped it at. I'm just going to run a final clipping on things now that the resolution is just a little higher. And that'll give a part its form. And now you can sculpt on it. So what you should do is, you know, if, if you're following along or doing something like this, you have to worry about, well, what is this thing that you're making? What's it supposed to look like? And you have the forms down, 
but just having the forms down isn't good enough. All right, so here I want to take shadow box it from there or mask it off from there to there. And I need to know where that tip is. Okay, the tip is right there. So here I can clip this. And I also need to know where the sight is. Okay, good. So that might work. And keep in mind, you know, nothing's written in stone. I can move the sight, I can move all this stuff after the fact. And that'll help blend some forms together. Okay, I'm just going to clear the mask out for that. Maybe work on that tip, which is located here. And use this brush for that. And then you can move these after the fact. Let's say I, I move this piece by going into move and move it back. If I hold draw, I can click and drag, and this will lock it into position, and then I can go to move. I can also scale this up some. Okay, and if I need to scale it only in one axis, that's where I usually deform something. So on the deformation, if I need to size that up in just Z, I can make it longer that way and then move it back. But if you hit scale to the center point, you'll find that that's a, it's a real hard thing to do sometimes. So, you know, it's between the point of using the transpose tool or going in here and sizing it via whatever axis that is. And that's X. So I can actually size that a little bit easier here. All right, so I got two forms and they're kind of put together and that's the way it has to go at first. You have to just kind of get all your forms blended and then move them next to each other. So I'm going to take some time to do that. Um, it's going to take me a while and th really this is what I'm going to include on uh, my new DVD release for ZBrush is, you know, start formulating stuff like this and putting it together and sculpting on it. But for right now, I think you got enough out of this to know that you can sculpt on things, you can move them around, build forms, and how to use some of the clip brushes and masking to pull out some of the forms. All right, enjoy.